Hello everyone and welcome to the HMH International Content Cares YouTube channel. My name is Mohammed Jina and I'm really excited to kick off our brand new series titled Virtual School Climates. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure to subscribe. This will keep you up to date to all of the content that we put up. Content goes live every single day around topics to support teachers as they navigate distance learning and move back to school. Today, we're gonna to spend some time talking about physical and emotional safety. Now, for both teachers and students to excel in this new virtual learning environment, they need to feel comfortable and secure. So physical and emotional safety in your new virtual school starts with establishing a remote learning code of conduct. It is an essential tool that will help promote a safe virtual space for the entire school community. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three action items that will help you in putting together your school's own unique remote learning code of conduct. Your first action item would be to host a planning meeting. Make sure to include all key stakeholders. Given the current circumstance, it will be a virtual meeting, but it will give you an opportunity to share ideas, put pen to paper, and work through what should be included in your school's own unique remote learning code of conduct. Think about everything from the expectations we have on our students' virtual engagement to guidelines on how to submit work that's completed, right up to are screenshots allowed in your new virtual classrooms. Now that you've put together your school's remote learning code of conduct, you've taken the first steps in creating a safe virtual learning environment for both teachers and students. Your second action item would be to ensure that your school's remote learning code of conduct is effectively communicated to the entire school community. That is parents, staff, as well as students. Don't take for granted that a bulk email will do the trick here. Spend some time with your senior leadership team thinking about innovative ways in which you can communicate the remote learning code of conduct to the entire school community. Host a virtual meeting with your teaching staff to work through the remote learning code of conduct. This will give you a wonderful opportunity to let your teaching staff know that their insight and opinions were valued as the remote learning code of conduct was put together. Think about hosting virtual coffee meetings for parents. To talk again, to talk through the remote learning code of conduct, this will ensure better buy-in. And then make sure that teachers are talking and living the remote learning code of conduct on a day-to-day -day basis with their students in their virtual classrooms. Your final action item would be to ensure that your school's remote learning code of conduct is implemented with fidelity. In any industry, it's up to the leader to create a positive climate. And within your new virtual school, your school's remote learning code of conduct is going to be your first step to creating that positive climate. Now, I'd like to warn you against a potential kickback. The minute you sense any of the guidelines have been weaponized, your school's remote learning code of conduct needs to be edited. You need to see it as a living, breathing document, which contributes to building a positive school climate. So there you have it, your three-step action plan to developing your school's remote learning code of conduct. In the description below, I'll make sure to add further guidelines on items to consider as you develop out your school's remote learning code of conduct. But I'd love to hear from you. How have you developed your school's remote learning code of conduct? And how has that contributed to building a positive school climate? Add those into the comments or drop us an email. We'd love to hear from you. If there's any additional topics you'd like us to build on or talk about, please feel free to drop us an email. We value your insight. Thank you for being part of this community. Bye for now.